those are going to be your choices in the future and you can't downplay it from anything. Um, and going through that was, I, I think we were all lucky to find each other and find kindred spirits and find each other at the right time. And you know, nothing was coincidental. Everything was supposed to be there when it was. Totally not taking a hiatus. <laughs> um, I was doing a lot of shit. <laughs> um, you know, this album has gone through a lot of phases from uh, being prom night when I started recording it to then just going through more life experiences. And I think um, I was concerned about it at a certain point. And, you know, I was like, well, you know, this should come out, this should come out when it should. And I was like, no. Everything should happen when it's supposed to happen. And maybe this album doesn't sound right to me because I haven't had the experiences, I haven't lived what I want for this album to sound the way it should. Um, so I don't think there's a limit on timeless music, which I, I try to do. You know, uh, we're also looking at this album as something like we're in the microwave age where everything is very instant. And uh, we're trying to change the way people look at albums and look at releases. You know, even if it's something amazing, things come out and then a week later, it's gone. So we're kind of like, well, let's make people have more of an attention span. Just like, you know, getting off the stage and being like, yeah, but the audience is going to react because you're not engaging the audience. You're just doing songs. I'm not here to just do songs. I'm here because you're here for me and I'm here for you, so let's all engage together. Um, and I think we've kind of lost the kind of interaction. So the hiatus, I guess, was uh, me learning all these things and learning how to be smarter about it and, um, you know, growing up into a, a, a different person and um, saying there's no, there's no rules anymore, especially in this industry. It's gone. You can do what you want. So learning how to take advantage of that and uh, learning how to make it work for you, creating something new. Um, one thing that I got, I got a lot of reaction that said, you know, Jean's quitting because she's upset with the industry. I was like, that's interesting because I never said that. I actually never said, fuck this business, I hate the industry. I grew up in the music business. This is what I know. This is my life. Uh, you know, I was going to ASCAP and, and going to Europa Disc and going to my mom's press up records and doing press kits when I was one month old. I can't be upset with the industry. This is what I do. This is what I've done. This is what my family does. Um, I felt like I was done. And I wanted to do something else. And I think that's perfectly fine in life when you feel like, okay, this is this is my chapter that's done. I want to move on to something else. And I realized that there was a couple of other things I wanted to do. And as an adult, learn how to multitask and say this doesn't have to be everything I'm doing. You know, I can do the music and love it and I can do it the way I want to. And especially in this climate of there are no rules. There's no first single that has to be put out. There's no first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. If you're still playing by, by those rules, you are fucked up in the game. Yeah. Uh, and no, if anything, I'm wonderfully happy with the fact that technology and social networking and people being creative and bright and imaginative has brought us to this place where we can realize all of our greatest dreams, you know, at the click of a button. And um, so no, I, I wasn't upset at the industry. I was trying to figure out how to balance things. Because we all try to figure out how to balance shit. And every day you want to work out and be like, I don't fucking want to do this shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, whether this is hip hop or not, or whether it's creative or not, it's still a job. And we all come to that point. Um, I have no writing process. <laughs> uh, my, 
<laughs> my writing process is I, I don't, uh, I can't write ahead of the time uh, before I go in the studio. I'm really, really awful at doing that. Uh, I've tried to do it, so I'm, I'm a very, uh, I write under pressure. I write very slow at the moment. Uh, and that seems to work. Uh, that's about it. I absolutely know. I draw things and. Shit is not about yeah. influence. Um, I'm a huge music fan, just in general. Um, I like really good writers. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter what, what genre of music it is, and I, I love um, chord changes and melody changes and, and, and amazing musicians. Um, I don't it, it could be Charles Mingus or it could be Radiohead or you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I like really good music and, and soul music in essence is um, anything that makes you feel something. You know, it could be fucking uh, MOP or it could be Art Tatum. It, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, make brilliant music, be brilliant and be absolutely free with it. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's fucking uncomfortable. Like, like relationships are uncomfortable and wonderful. And uh, you know, you learn a lot about yourself. And you learn a lot about the world. And you learn about the other gender. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it's it's a real. It's the most honest and uh, vulnerable project that I could come up with. And, I sat and dealt with it for about five years, being like, what things can I write? What things can I not write? And I tried to be more responsible with involving other people in my writing. Because all my shit is, it's all true stories, but you know, don't necessarily have to say the motherfucker's name. And, you know, don't be more responsible about being open about things. Um, and, you know, love and, and is, is a roller coaster. Growing up is a roller coaster. Just general life. It's uncomfortable and it's wonderful and it's horrible and it's great all at the same time. So. Uh, Cake of Death is coming out. Uh, we are in the middle of shooting the show Life with Genie, which is kind of based off the blog. Uh, which is also an uncomfortable show. Um, I kind of figured that, you know, growing up I, I was a huge fan of, of sketch comedy and, and, and brilliantly written comedy and, and sitcoms and I, I don't think I've ever really been able to see, to see uh, myself represented like that and I think there's a lot of us. Big shout out to Awkward Black Girl. I think she's doing an incredible job right now so Shout out to Issa Rae for being dope. Um, I think it's a, it's a great time for everybody to branch off and do things that they wanted to do. Uh, there's also the book, which is called The State of Ed, uh, which will be out uh, next summer. So Life of Genie should be around Christmas. Cake or Death starts Halloween, October 31st. And, um, gosh, there's a lot of stuff. But we'll just, we'll just stay there. Right. I'm a rap, you know, people, you know, black, 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 you know,